<laughs> yes. Yeah. But like the comparison, like with me and some the other So that'd be something neat to see. You know, the higher centers. At- the Pirates playing in in Williams. Welcome back for the second period. Football season around the corner. Jason, you said your uh, fancy football already kicked in. Yeah, we had our draft Monday night. Well, you sound so enthused. You sound uh, so well, I had enthused. The, I, so in a 10-team league, I had the ninth <laughs> pick. So I was making chicken salad out of chicken shit. Um, I don't know. I'm projected to finish third. I'm projected to finish third every year. And almost every year, minus one, I've finished in second place. So it is what it is. I always the pride. I I go, I go in, I go in every year with a game plan and I should understand that my game plan means nothing because people draft ridiculous like, oh, round seven, someone just starts taking a kicker, so now everyone's taking a kicker in round seven when that's like a round 15 and wrapping up your draft kind of thing. So, <laughs> and, and and this ties back to fantasy football. It's well known that I always end up with Matt Stafford, whether on purpose or not. I've admitted my Matt Stafford fandom last year. I said, if the Rams win the World Series, I will get a Matt Stafford jersey. That shirt has been ordered. It is on its way from Fanatics. So next episode, I will wear it. I didn't know we played baseball. You said World Series. <laughs> no, did I? I meant the Super Bowl. Dude, <laughs> I, I am right. I know. I just found it funny. Yeah. Oh, trust me, off the air, <laughs> off the air, you know the night I had, so I'm... Um, oh, uh, I understand. I'm, but I'm uh, there, but yeah. right now, Wait. but right now, the Bills, the Bills are looking to take the Super Bowl. They They're 6-1. to one. So much talent. They're 6-1 to one right now. They have just a ton of talent. They got probably one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. Um, it, it's hard to argue against them. It would be cool to see the Rams go back to back. I'm not going to lie. Um, but that that's kind of a wait to be seen kind of thing. Um, yeah, Cause right now they have the bills six to one, <laughs> the Buccaneers 15 to two Packers chiefs, 11 to one. Rams twelve to one on taking the Super Bowl. So will it happen? Who knows? I mean, we all know how football can be. You could, you know, but on paper it could be the crappiest team, but when you play it out, it could. Well, be the a thing big with shocker. football is it, it's such it's such a short season that I mean, it, it can be anyone's game. Well. You know, the best team could go on a losing streak and then someone can take their spot. Because it's a, it's a short season, everything's kind of up in the air unless someone starts going undefeated by, like, eight games. Yeah. But what's fun, I mean, and plus also, you could have a team that has won every game and have a team that lost every game. They play each other. And a team that hasn't won would actually win against a team that has won every game. Right. So it is anything that happened. I just find it funny how they always try to predict, like, who's going to win, who's going to win the divisions and things like that. Well, I believe um, – so as of now, the predict the projection is that the Rams will win the NFC West – The Packers will win the NFC North. The NFC South will go to the Buccaneers. Buccaneers. And the East will go to the Eagles. Um, That's... uh, Yeah. The East East does not look good, though. So, I mean, you're basically being the the least crappy team in a crappy division right now. Um, It has not looked good in how long, though? 
In the AFC West, the Chargers are projected to take that. Uh, the Ravens are projected to take the AFC North, which the the Ravens are in the AFC North and they're south of me and Brad. If you were if you were in a paying attention our chat group, we had some discussions about the absolute ludicrousness of why why are the Dallas Cowboys logistically why are the Cowboys in the NFC East when they're not in the East? Like we get they're there for rivalries, but logistically they're anyway. The Colts yeah. are expected to take the AFC South and the, the Bills. East are goes to the Bills. To take, yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how all of this plays out. Just to you know see how many how many bets are gonna be uh thrown to the wayside on this. Um it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, I'm curious to see how those how that first week works out. See if there's any crazy injuries or because there's typically something that happens in that first week, um, both for fantasy football purposes and for the purpose of the actual team, where it can completely send a season down the drain immediately. Um, a quarterback going out for an injury that's always a big detrimental thing. Since we're talking about it, how great was that quote from Baker Mayfield that he's gonna f and shove it up the Browns' ass in that first in that first game in Week One? I hope that game's televised too. Well, they're all televised. I just don't know if it'll be in our area. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like in in our area to watch because I would definitely love to watch to see how how that plays out and see if he actually does put it where the sun don't shine on him. <laughs> Um, just think about it. you trade them off. Up. You know, you get you get rid of them, and then you got to now rely on what a second string quarterback. And, and the funny thing will be is if the the Panthers go on a tear that no one expected, and they go make it in the playoffs. That would be. Interesting. I mean, because. Uh, Going back to Stafford, and this is something I've discussed with the one guy uh, in the admin chat I'm in for for the one wrestling group. His name's Albert. He's lives. He's a Detroit Lions fan. He's like, I'm happy for Stafford. He goes because he was never going to win a Super Bowl in our system. Sometimes it takes getting out of a you know getting into a new program and getting into a new coaching system to bring out the best in a, in a player. And maybe that that can happen for Baker Mayfield. And the thing is, though, that's any player in any sport, whether it be football, baseball, basketball, hockey. You know, you you get a new environment, and all of a sudden, everything starts to change. Everything starts to go on on the plus side because you got that different atmosphere, the different look that could really just kind of you know, the, a coach could change the motivation for you. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, I'm a firm believer that... And the team. And the team around you. The morale of the team. That a... Uh, you know, that some guys benefit from a change of scenery. Like, I I know some Phillies fans who get upset when we trade guys away. But sometimes, just because they're not performing for us doesn't mean they're, you know, they might do better. They might do better in Texas. They might do better in L.A. You don't know. But, well, look how many times the Flyers trade away top players and they go on to win Stanley Cups or have tremendous careers. Right. And then when they get traded to Philly, that's where basically their career has ended. (laughs) But, I don't know. I think that's going to be an interesting game to watch week one. I, fantasy purposes, have no one, I think, in that game. So even better for me. Now I'm just hoping it's televised in our area so it can be watched. You know, mm-hmm. that definitely uh definitely going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. So it's February what February or yeah, February. Wow, I'm way behind here. September All right, 8th. I'm going to tell you right now that game will not be televised in our area. Ah, crap. 
more than likely we'll have Fox will have the Eagles and the Lions and CBS will have the Steelers and the Bengals. Of course they will. So. Of course. Of course, that's. And the first game is played Thursday night. It will be the Rams against the Bills at 820. And that's going to be Thursday, September 8th. Um, so that's how the season will start. Yep. Yeah, no, I was looking because I know I, cause I heard a lot of or some of the games would be on Amazon Prime on Thursday nights. And that's probably where that one will be. Yeah. Well, according to ESPN, I think, it's, I on, think uh, it's on ESPN or not ESPN, NBC. Oh, is it? According to what ESPN is saying. That makes sense. It's the kickoff game. And probably everything after that's going to be. Uh, Thursday nights, so it's going to be NBC or Amazon Prime. Uh, I thought it was going to be Prime exclusive this year. Who knows? Who knows? So on that note, that'd be the end of the second. We'll be right back.